I just fell into the groundlings. I started taking classes here, not knowing what it was. With my little theater degree from San Diego State, and stayed in for like nine years. And now I'm what you call an alum, meaning that I don't perform on weekends. I teach and I direct here. So we have five levels of the school. So there's like an introduction to improv, and then you learn the basics. Then you go up to intermediate, where you're using improv skills to develop characters and write sketches and then there's writing lab where you're experimenting with writing monologues and then writing scenes and then Sunday Company which is our uh, aspiring Groundlings team that performs on Sundays. It's kind of like a family. Some of my best friends are people that I performed with here that I came up through the school with and I think it's also because it's such a cool place to like be inspired by other people's creativity. I am a firm believer of pulling from your own life. I think any kind of pressure of I've got to come up with that really amazing thing or be funny, you, you get kind of tight because you're in your head, you know? So what better thing to draw from, from than your own life? I think ultimately it has to be truthful, right? It has to be earnest. You have to have a sense of wanting to know more about these characters are getting involved in what they're doing. You're not going to bat a thousand in improv. It's like baseball. You're going to have good ones and bad ones. I always tell my students, don't let fear hold you back. Just do it. It's actually fun. I think if you are, you have acting experience and you have a really strong comedic point of view about who you are, I think you can do it. You know, it, but you know, comedy is subjective. It's this business is subjective. But we've had, a, I've been fortunate enough to perform with and teach a lot of talented people. All of them had something to offer. Like there's certain ones where I remember I had Will Ferrell for a basic class and I went, that guy's funny. You know, Melissa McCarthy was just a whirlwind. She was just so charismatic. And, uh, and Chris Kattan was that goofy wild guy. And Will Forte had this really interesting point of view that was just him, you know. I used to do this character. She was like um, real vapid, you know, and she was on trial for murder or something like that. All she would say is, um, I, I eat his head. I don't know, I eat his head. You know, and Rob Reiner came to the show and he always goes, you gotta do that I eat your, I eat his head thing. It's kind of fun when people like remember a sketch that you did or remember, oh my God, that weird lady who, you know, steals shoes or, you know, and so you kind of go, oh, that's cool. Thanks for remembering that. We have some newer groundlings. They just uh, were voted into the company, so that's really great to have some fresh new ideas in it. We're still in that workshop process of nailing down what's actually in it, but there are a lot of cool ideas. There's a lot of like great character-driven stuff, and um, it's kind of fun. Right now it's a little daunting because it's a lot of material. I mean, a lot. I think you should just go. Don't even have any preconceived notions, even if you don't know what the show is, just go, because you'll figure it out once you go. Hi, I'm Karen Mariama, and you are watching Core Asian Media, or as my mother says, Core Asian Media. Mm -hmm.